the reseller right now watching this video, you need to go back to work. Reselling is not a real job. Uh, get a real job. This isn't a real business. You're never going to make money. Um, you know, just stop and just go back to work, right? How many times have you heard that kind of circling around? Maybe a family member told you or a friend or a coworker, and you tell them you're quitting your job and you're going to start selling on eBay or you want to eventually quit your job and sell on eBay and people really down you and talk to you um, like it's not a real job, it's not a real business. Um, I've heard that not a lot because I've really kind of narrowed down who I talk to and who I socialize with and who I hang out with. Um, I, I, I like to hang out with people that encourage me that, you know, have my back and I have their back, you know. So, um, you know, I did cut off a lot of people in my life that were negative, that didn't really have anything going on for themselves or didn't want to try and get to the next level. And it's really not being mean. And it could be anybody in your family. It could be your parents. It could be you know, cousin, you know, whoever it may be, like, if people are toxic, like, you need to cut those people out. And, you know, that's a big thing, like, as an entrepreneur, or someone that is running their own business and running the show, because if you have a lot of distractions and things, you're never gonna really build that momentum, like reselling and just being an entrepreneur is really about your values and your routines and being disciplined and being able to self-motivate yourself that's what i've realized throughout the four and a half years reselling and being an entrepreneur and working for myself is you need to have a strict schedule and when i first started i just did every i thrifted whenever i wanted i listed whenever i wanted i didn't have a listing goal listing habit um, i kind of just did everything whenever i felt like it and then as i got more mature in reselling and as an entrepreneur like I started waking up at a certain time. I started um, hitting the thrift stores at a certain time. I had a route already planned out the day before. Everything, you know, inventory, I, I got my inventory system down. I started having a listing habit. I started eating different. I started working out. Like all these things started to come into place. And the, the sooner you get these things down and the system could be whatever it is like for you. If you wanna start taking photos at five o'clock in the afternoon, then so be it. That's what works for you. It's whatever works for you. That's what you do. And, um, you know, for me, I like to get things done early. So I have the rest of the day to hang out with my family or, you know, hang out with my girlfriend, go on a hike or when I exercise, whatever it may be. Right. So everyone's situation is different. So you have to figure that part out. And then another thing that I want to touch up on that's super important is with your spouse, you know, um, if, you're not taking your reselling business seriously like if you don't have things planned out a listing habit and um, a sourcing route and you don't take things seriously and you kind of just do it whenever you want how do you expect your spouse to take you serious so you know a lot of people are like well people are always calling me or texting me i need to go here 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 well it's because you're not taking your business seriously so if you take your business seriously and people know like oh you're working you know on your business at this time you'll be done around this time then and and you are consistent you're listing every day you're sourcing every day you handle your customer service drop your packages off you do your shipping everything's done people then know like okay he's working or she's working like on their business and they're busy so if you kind of just lollygag and do it whenever you want you don't have a strict schedule people are just going to interrupt you whenever they're going to ask you for rides they're going to ask you for money they're going to, you know, all that stuff has happened to me as well. And then ever since I got into a strict schedule, like all that stuff changed, like people know, like I'm busy around certain times. Don't call me, don't text me unless it's like a life and death situation, of course. But you got to be like that, guys, um, kind of reprogram your mind, because a lot of us come from working nine to five jobs, you know, and, you know, it's a different system. You're playing their system. You get you get there on time. When they tell you to, you work the hours that you're supposed to work and then you go home and then you come back the next day at the same time, right? So it's really reprogramming everything and doing it for yourself. If you're willing to do it for your boss and some another company, why not do it for yourself, you know? So if you're having trouble with that, then you need to really evaluate, reevaluate yourself because, you know, in your situations and ask yourself, why did you start a business? Why did you want to work for yourself? And, um, you know, if you don't want to go back to work, like you need to really put things into perspective and change some things. And, um, yeah, so I just want to touch up on that. And I know this video will help somebody out there because I do get asked that question every once in a while. 
you know, wh why is my spouse not taking me serious or, um, you know, just different levels to it. So hope you guys got something out of it. And this is going to be the second upload for the day. And we're going to be doing a double upload. So if you haven't checked out the previous video that I uploaded, go check it out. Also, real quick, I'm offering store reviews for eBay. They're only $5, guys. Click the link down below. And I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace out.